Hi there, in this camera jungle video I'd like to talk to you about macro and micro lenses, why you need one and when you should use one. I've got a few macro lenses here, the 60mm f2.8 for the Canon system and the 105mm f2.8 for the Nikon system. But both manufacturers have a wide and similar range. The first thing to get out of the way is the name. Is it macro or is it micro? And what's the difference? Well there's no difference. Nikon call their lenses micro and almost everyone else calls them macro, but they mean exactly the same thing. The names though give away their use, close-ups. Anything small and detailed makes a great macro photo subject, so classic subjects include things like insects, butterflies and flowers, but also popular are human eyes, water drops and ice crystals. The main thing to consider when picking a macro lens is the focal length. Long focal lengths like the 100mm and the 105mm are good for flighty subjects like insects, because you can keep your distance. They're also good for studio use for portraits for the same reason. Longer focal lengths like 180mm macro are also available for more extreme requirements. But more common is the 60mm. These lenses tend to be a little bit cheaper. They're useful for things like flowers, stamps and coin photography. And 60mm comes up at close to 100mm on an APS-C or DX body like the Canon 50D, so it can be especially useful if you're just getting started as it's so flexible. Both Nikon and Canon keep adding to their range of micro and macro lenses. For example, Nikon have their 40mm micro for DX bodies. And third-party manufacturers like Sigma have more affordable variants for standard focal lengths like this Sigma 105mm, so there's plenty to choose from. If you're ready to get started with macro photography, I'd recommend that you check out the full range of macro and micro lenses on Camera Jungle's website today. See camerajungle.co.uk for our full range and remember, you can always trade in your old equipment against the cost of your new macro lens.